Morgan the boss. Do you want a hug? First of all, you can just call me Morgan, and... I prefer not to be touched in general, so yeah. Oh, sorry. In any ways, what the heck do you do with this thing? Whoa, Stride, be careful with that. Urgh, Stride, stop swinging that thing around, you're scaring me. Ting, oh, uh, no, ting, ah. ting, 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 ting. So Morgan, that was my first day on the job. Do you want me to tell you how it was? It was absolutely awful. You're fired. Okay, so that was definitely a good demonstration of what not to do on your first day on your job. And today, we will be going over all of the, the things that you should uh, and should not do when you are cooking in a kitchen. And what I did back there was definitely something you should not do. Oh yes, definitely. Part 1. When you wash your hands. Okay, so, so now we are going to wash our hands. You better wash them for at least 15 seconds, and you better scrub your hands with soap, or else I'll hang you from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Got that? Got that? Good. And I'll give you a full guided tutorial on how to wash your hands. First, you go and open the bathroom door. Then you find the sink. Then you turn on water, make sure the water is warm, rinse hands in water, get soap, scrub your hands with soap, rinse hands again, turn off water, then dry your hands. Wow, that was a huge list. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Well, I hope you wash your hands, or else it won't be a good ending for you. So, if you are homesick, like literally sick at home, then you shouldn't come to work. So, the correct thing to do if you do not feel well at home, and you feel like you absolutely cannot come to work, make sure to call ho homesick, so your boss knows that you'll be gone that day. And if you are already at work and start noticing the symptoms, stop what you are doing, and if safe, if, or then inform your boss or manager and take the rest of the day off. It is ideal to wait 24 hours after the symptoms go away before you return to your job. Uh, and take your temperature if you do not feel good. Okay. Yeah. Do those things or you know, you might die. No, it's not me that's gonna kill you. It's probably the plague. Oh god. God darn it, I'm not even sick. I literally just went to the Hadian Eon to find a hot tub and I got scorched really badly. I need to go to the emergency room. Oh, I'm not here. Well, do you know what, Trollface? It would be the best for your own survival interests if you just shut up and get rest. Hello, and okay, so I'll be going over when to wear gloves. You should definitely wear your gloves after you wash your hands. You should definitely wear your gloves when, when preparing ready to eat food because you know it's ready to eat. You won't be putting it in an oven. For example, this salad here is ready to eat. What you should do is you should make sure to put on gloves before or put just ramp stuff inside here because you know you don't want to cross contaminate it. That'd be terrible if one of our customers got sick because of that and it'll all be your fault. So make sure you wear gloves or else I'll, f I'll grab you and fling you all the way to Venus. You got that? Good. Okay, so next up, we will be talking about when you should report something to your boss or manager. So first up, if the if any package you ordered looks not right or is undocumented, then 
You should definitely tell your boss. Yeah, if the package is wet or leaking, you should definitely tell your boss and dispose of it as soon as possible. Also, when you see suspicious objects, people, or activity, definitely. You should definitely toss food and tell your boss whenever they're in a position where they can cross-contaminate. And if your food, drinks, or ingredients are discolored, that is a clear sign that something is not right. And definitely, if you see just random drugs laying around, you should definitely tell your boss or manager. And if you see any uh, food, drinks, ingredients, or utensils in an inappropriate room or part of the building, such as the bathroom, just let you know, that stuff can be either used for stuff that's forbidden or illegal, so you should definitely tell your boss or manager. You should never just mess around with anything. This is for safety. For example, you should never put your finger in front of a knife when using it. Do not touch the tool part of the tool meant to touch food. It will cross-contaminate. Ask or do research before using an unknown tool. Put the tool away in its correct place. Don't touch, touch your body while using tools. Always wash tools when you're done as well. And next up, I bet you wonder what clothing should you wear to the kitchen? Well, good question. I'll give you an entire list. Make sure your clothes are long, do not show too much skin, and aren't anything valuable or luxurious. It is not recommended to wear any dresses or fancy suits. So wear a hat or hairnet to prevent your 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 goddamn filthy hair from getting the food. Wear an apron to not stain your clothes. And your clothes, oh, so don't whine. Your clothes will not always be comfortable. So yeah, I gave you an entire list, so you have no excuse to show up to work underdressed. And next up, you should definitely come with a decent attitude if you want to be employed for at least a meaningful amount of time. I know that you may have woke up on the wrong side of the bed and maybe cranky, but you gotta tough it out at work. You gotta follow the established rules. You gotta pay attention so you don't get your hand chopped off. It's not the end of the world if you don't get your way. And if you don't get your way, don't throw a fit, don't talk back, don't be a Karen, and or else you'll I bet you'll get fired within three days. And if your boss or manager her gives you a warning about your attitude or inappropriate clothing or unpreparedness, it is not worth arguing with your boss or manager. So yeah, just comply with what they say. And the last things to wrap up coming up with a decent attitude are tools are not toys, so don't treat them like the, they are. The kitchen is not a playground. There are safety rules for a reason, and you could get seriously injured, or even worse, if you're extra re reckless. And you control your emotions when angry or sad. Uh, your, the kitchen is a, is a job, not a counseling center. And the last thing I'll be going over for this section of the video is please come to work prepared. So if possible, try your best to get enough sleep or rest in general if you can. Bring all of your required work clothes from home if they don't already provide them at your job. And work time is not social hour. It is meant for work like it suggests, and technically that could come a, that could go into come with a decent attitude. And try your best not to space off or get distracted by some dumb thing. I know with some people it could be easier said than done. And if you have a more severe form of ADHD or autism, talk it out with your boss and manager and you'll and you should get a solution worked out. So yeah. Don't use your autism or ADHD as an excuse because, yeah. Grrr, Morgan, what's taking you so long? Whoa, stride, I did, oh, please, give me a minute. No, you get over here right now and bring the camera.
Well, me and Morgan are going to go and discuss the final part to our, our food safety video. Okay. Hey, Stride, was Pull Me Back here really necessary? Yes, it was. Now shut up and follow along. And anyways, so you shall not order food from unverified sources. If the if if a package is not verified or has bad reviews, don't you dare order it then. If the package that was ordered was rotten, contaminated, or expired, dispose of the food food and tell your boss and manager not to order it again. And okay, so what should you do if food isn't stored properly? Yeah, if it is stored under something raw or near chemicals, immediately, without hesitation, toss it out. Also throw it out if the seal is broken or if someone decides to just randomly open something, just leave it there and not use it. And make sure that the food is stored outside the temperature danger zone, which the temperature danger zone is between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And make sure you remind all of your coworkers to do the same. How to store food properly. Find location below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The food must be at least six inches above the floor. Don't store any, don't store any non-meat items with raw meat. Don't store any food or tools in inappropriate places such as bathrooms, random shelves, or cabinets. And finally, when tools aren't in good condition. So what you should do is tell your boss or manager if a tool is not in good condition. Obviously, don't use it. Find another tool if there are any other available. And if there's not, then you should order more. Okay. Well, I think that's all we have to say. Okay, so everybody, that is all. Right, Morgan? Yes, I, I think that's all. Okay, so I guess hope you enjoyed the video and thought it was helpful for your next job. And okay, so anyways, we're wrapping it up and goodbye. And by the way, Stride, you're fired. What? Yeah, you heard me. Ah!